So for the following problem, it says to evaluate the function for the indicated value, then simplify. So we have that f of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 5, and they want us to find f of x plus 1. So for this problem here, this is simply asking us to take x plus 1, plug it in for x for the function. So kind of like pretend like if I have the function um, f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 and they wanted us to find f of 2, that's all, all it's asking you to do is plug in 2 for x and then simplify. So that's exactly what they're asking us to do here, except instead of plugging in a number for x, we're going to be plugging in x plus 1. So for every x, we're plugging in x plus 1 and then simplifying. So that means we're going to have x plus 1 squared minus 3 times x plus 1 plus 5. All right, so all we did was take x and replace it with x plus 1. Now we need to simplify, so the first thing we need to do in simplifying here is the first thing that we have here is x plus 1 squared. Keep in mind that that does mean x plus 1 times x plus 1, so when you multiply that out, you get x squared plus 2x plus 1. And then we're going to have this minus 3 times x plus 1, which means that we need to distribute that. Negative 3 times x gives us negative 3x. Negative 3 times 1 gives us a negative 3. And then drop down the plus 5. And then our last step here is going to be to be uh, combine any like terms. So it looks like x squared is the only squared term that we have there. Next we have 2x minus 3x, which is a negative x. And then we have 1 minus 3 plus 5. So 1 minus 3 is a negative 2. Negative 2 plus 5 makes that a positive 3. So that means that f of x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus x minus 3. And again, that we get that simply by plugging in x plus 1 in for x and simplifying. Otherwise, that's it for this video.